All right, Nathan is biting at the bit. I'm not really, I just want to get the sway bar in so we can work on the engine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I am biting at the bit though. Don't scratch anything. The worst bit is we've made everything so painted and nice. I know. <laughs> and we're notorious for scratching stuff. <laughs> should have left it on the stands. Alrighty, lift this up. Working on the cold concrete floor. I don't know, when we have a hoist. When we have a hoist. <laughs> or jack stands. All right, that's in. Do you want to do yours? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just for everyone. It's not in. <laughs> just so everyone knows, Nathan just dropped the bolt. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Goes on. All right, now put the nut on. I'll yeah, put them on. The put them on now. Bolt shot was just be like this. <laughs> All right, so this goes. I guess that one goes there. So give me another bolt. <laughs> that looks better. So if you put that straight on, it hits. Hang on, I might have the wrong way. Hey, you dropped something. Keep that to me. So, so. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm always into it. There you go. I got it. Ready? Yep. First one. Yep, first. Yep. Yep, hit it. That's better. That looks better. Nice! There we go. I see. I wish we could start it up to actually. Make sure it runs right. That's the button. Because we got a bad history with bell alignments. Definitely. That looks good. Good tension, not bad good tension. Good tension. Overall, easy install. I think that's it. I know, we're, we're done. We're done for the day. We're, we're waiting on a body. Oh, do you want to show them the dipstick? Um, the way the dipstick works when you put the six, six litre on? In a previous episode, we mentioned that we were using a six litre dipstick rather than the 5.7 because the 5.7 came out to like here. <laughs> um, so the six litre dipstick actually fits in perfectly. Just runs up past the headers and bolts into the top of the head here. And it's in a nice little spot actually. Yeah, looks all good well. now. You got, got your engine oil, you got your dipstick. Got your uh, dipstick. <laughs> hey, do you know on the six liters you can't check your transmission fluid? Yeah, they got a sealed box. Yeah, do you know how annoying that is? Because mm. I have to do service mine. Yeah, it's a sealed unit. I know. Mm. That's stupid. Anyway, stupid. That's that done. Well done. Look at, but it would look better if it was a pro charger. <laughs> right there, I think. It's been a week later. We've got the body back, it's just rolled off the trailer, it's just sitting in the driveway, we're ready to roll it in and bolt the subframe to it, so uh, let's bring it in. Ah oh, shit, wrong car, this one's for later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So, the body is back. We've got the body back. Um, he absolutely smashed it out of the park. How long did he have it for you? Three weeks? Four weeks? I reckon I three, weeks. To three weeks, maybe, maybe four. I think it was four. Yeah. It was four, so four weeks he's had the car for, and the rust was immense. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll just go through what he's done. So he's absolutely killed it because he's bloody fussy. He ended up painting all this. He patched up all the holes that we circled that we wanted patched up. This is a whole new panel. So this is all new from Rare Spares. All in there has been repaired. It had holes everywhere. The inside panel, uh, they didn't have in stock. So he's handmade, remade everything in there. That's crazy. It's been fish oiled. It's been tar. It's, it's, this thing's not gonna rust again. <laughs> so yeah, this whole panel is all new. Um, all the, the spot welds have been drilled out and this whole panel has been put on. All the floors have been done, which he's started laying down some, uh, some thick body dead nut and he's started half the uh, the car builder stuff. So it's got four new floor pans. It's got new, the dog legs have been repaired. 
I did. Did he do dog legs too? Did he? Uh, that one. He's done that dog leg. This one was all right. Okay. Oh, the boot. So the as you saw the boot, the <laughs> boot was a nightmare. Flashback so to Nathan putting the my metal detector. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's got a whole new boot put in, and it's got the hole for the fuel for the fuel pump because we're still using the standard tank with the pump inside the tank and it comes up through. So it's got a whole new floor put in and he smashed this out in three, four weeks. I reckon it was three weeks of total work time he, was, yeah, he had it yeah, working on it. A bloody craftsman and he absolutely killed it. Yeah. <laughs> the words can't describe it. Like, you know, these rush repairs take months and months and months of work, you know, and he did it in, in three weeks. Um, so we still got heaps to do. We got to pull the diff out. We still got to paint all underneath the floor before we bought the subframe up. But we've got a good base point where we're not mucking around. We're doing rust repairs, painting a few things here and there because we want to get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, I think we're basically ready to start work, aren't we? Yeah, well now we're going to try and get the subframe mounted to the body and see what it actually looks like. We've just got to paint underneath the floor a little bit. We've got bit. to paint underneath the floor because it's not painted yet. He's only just done the firewall. You can see the doors aren't on still. Um, that's because the bottom of the doors are all rotted out. So now the doors have to be fully repaired. Yeah. So he's still doing all the fun stuff while we so do all the boring doing stuff? He's all the fun stuff while we're doing the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, we've got a lot to do. We want to get the heater all put back together, put the heater box on, which I'm cleaning up at the moment. We've got a brand new heater core there. So yeah. let's do it. It's a fair bit of work. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. So Daniel's rocked up. I have. 12 volt Dan. And now we're going to paint underneath the body. <clears throat> it's easy to uh, line it up when you can wheel around like a chopping trolley. Well, that took forever. Yeah, we managed to we're get We're trying it. to get this on the hoist so we can clean the floor and paint the floor, but because we've got no weight anywhere. It's just been a nightmare to get up. Yeah, it's trying to actually find places we can lift it from, but... Yeah. Like this, it doesn't feel solid. Oh, it's coming anyway. anyway. <laughs> I really got the... the beep end of the stick. <laughs> so this is what it looks like anyway. It's yeah. not too bad, like this section's all good because this is all new, but it's... this bit it's along okay. here where it's all... 40 something years, ugh. Of grime and grease. Yeah. So what, what do you want to do? What is a HQ fort? Uh, <laughs> we're going to tape this around the whole perimeter, so we don't grind dust everywhere. And then we could possibly just give it a bit of liquid paint, just mask up the arms. Um, yeah. This was a bigger job than I thought. <laughs> yeah. So let's tape it up, and then we'll show you the result. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna look really good on film, it's gonna <laughs> suck to do it. <laughs> Have fun there. Why, why didn't you take your boots off first? My brother, you should have. We're going to get messy. <laughs> so this is what our tarp situation is looking like and um, this is what Nathan's looking like. Hold, the, hold that tight. Hey, wait, no, do a big one on the back. You want me to do a big one on the back? Yeah, do a big one on the back. What did you write? Now do a big NASA logo. Let's do some contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, we checked all four systems, and there you go on modulation, all four, and keying with a go. Roger, gear lot, clear here also. So after a good 45 minutes on the um, on the angle grinder, with this, got all the muck off the floor, it sucked, um, we're going to be using some of this. The good stuff. The good stuff. I've used this on um, my patrol and it works wonders. So I've done the front part of the floor already, got the good. back part, but it, it's come up really nice. Looks real good. Yeah. That's a pristine looking floor right there. Oh, I am caked in it. Having fun? <sighs> Pretty jealous you stole all the fun. It's come up really nice. So we'll do this half and we'll do the other half when we do the diff. Yeah, we're, we're only doing the front half because the diff's got to come out and there's grease everywhere at the back. So what we'll do is we'll just do what we've done here. It blended actually really nice into the Yeah, the you wouldn't gloss. even know. You wouldn't even know. Plus, you don't even see that. So we got to put the heater box on before we. We got to put the heater box on. Yeah, we'll do that next, I reckon. Yeah, hopefully the paint's dry on that. Um, I think I might just give this like one kind of go over, another another coat. But um, I just feel sticky all over. <laughs> you did a good job. Thanks, man. For your first time painting, you did really well. But <laughs> what you got there, Nathan? This. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say, what to call it. Um, so we're going to put this on and run a bit of bed silicon around there. And then we're looking at putting the subframe together. Michael's put the body bolts on. Well, he's working on putting the body bolts he's on. Working on putting the body. He's probably spent about an hour on it. Um, Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss that line. Do you want to hang Oh, hang on, it's got studs. You should be right. There you go. Lovely. Feel better now? <laughs> Heart's racing. Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good butt movement then. It's time to uh, make this marriage official. <laughs> Send her away. Very low. <laughs> That's how you build a HQ, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> look how good it looks. It does look good. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Looks good. There we go. The uh, the HQ actually has an LS in it now. Yeah. And that was easy as, like realistically, getting that in under. That no, went. It wasn't that hard. Pretty it's easy. A bit of maneuvering. That was it, yeah. Um, but yeah. Man, it looks good. It looks, it looks nice in there though, like it fits really well. <laughs> oh man. Looks good, eh? 
It looks amazing. I swear you were born with a rattle can in your hand. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> That's working all right. So at the moment we're just trying to get some height into it. Get the springs under actually a little bit of weight. So Nathan's doing his gym workout. And trying to raise it up. We're gonna go to about halfway on, on the thread just to see how that looks. All right, so we have raised both sides. It's a little bit tricky just cause the springs are on a bit of tension, but we'll raise it a lot. We've raised it 60 mil, was it? So we've lifted the the bottom collar up 60 mil. Yeah. And it's raised it heaps, like it's well off the ground now. But uh, saying that too, the car is an empty car, there's nothing in it, so there's not a lot there's of weight still in still more weight to go on. Um, but we've, we've turned it, the dials um, to a pretty firm setting. Yeah. And I don't know, did, have we, did we show them what it was like before? No, I don't think we did. It was pretty squishy. But now it's pretty... Pretty firm. Yeah, when it was actually really surprising, these um, co uh, shocks, when they were in the soft setting, was it? Soft cruising yeah. driving? Yeah. It was really soft and like... Really, really bound, nice and cushiony. Yeah. yeah. And it actually would have drove really nice on like that. Yeah, and then, but when we turn it up to firm... Yeah, it's the firm right up. The difference is huge yeah. and it actually doesn't get that... Um, it doesn't no, drop as much. There's not much rebound. Yeah. I don't know how it works, but yeah, there's like... It's, but, also, the car doesn't drop as much, whereas before it was dropping a lot more when you'd push on it. So yeah, so we've got it pretty high, but we're going to sit because these tires have quite a wall on them. So we're going to sit the the front clip on just to see what it looks like. And just we really some want gig to see what space. Like. Yeah, yeah. So let's get front clip. <laughs> oh, dude, this is our thumbnail. This is the thumbnail for sure. Oh, have a look at that. <laughs> dude, I can't see you coming to the light. Oh, sorry. There's an LS in our HQ. <laughs> wow. How good is that lock? Wow. Lock? lock? It's been a big day. All that work of painting it and stuff for no reason. I oh, know, you can't even <laughs> you see, can't any see anything. anything. <laughs> and with these, um,. With the center lines, you can't see anything that we've I done. Know. It looks cool though. We've, I think we've raised it a bit too much though, Michael. Yeah, but don't forget, there's a lot of weight to go into yeah, it. Yeah, and springs have to settle, I think. We should have taken springs out of the ground. Now it looks like... That was cool. That looks really cool, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to count that as, as a success. I'm going to count that as a success. Go to the it looks good in there too. Like, it, Jesus, it sits nice in there, doesn't it? With yeah. everything around it. <laughs> we got an LSQ. <laughs> Man, that looks good. I'll get I've got a phone, get a phone there. But yeah, I guess this will be it for this episode. I reckon we'll finish this one here. You happy? I'm happy. We'll finish this one here and then next time you see this we will be working on yeah, the steering column, the booster, maybe the wiring, or just whatever else we need to do the body. Still plenty to do. Now we've got to, me and you got to get strong again and lift this back off. This back off. <laughs> <laughs> but that's freaking awesome. And look, the idea when we were making this, like when we were trying to figure out how we're going to sort out this build, what, what process we're going to follow, the idea was that we'd see if we can get an LS into the subframe and then roll the subframe under. Didn't know it was going to work. We hadn't researched to know it was going to work or anything. Um, turns out it works freaking awesome. It worked really well, so it was it was easy to get in. It was a little bit of fiddling around, just lining all the bolts. Yeah, up, lining but, the bolts up. But it was easy enough, so I reckon that's a win. See them in the next episode. In the next episode. I just, oh, I just can't help it, you know, if there's, if there's an opportunity for me to do something stupid, I'm doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs>
rolled all the way out of there. Not only does he drop bolts, folks, he also drops sockets. <laughs> socket. I dropped the socket. <laughs>